Finding out your pet's nutritional requirements can seem intimidating. If you're new to raw feeding and just started to grasp the 80-10-5-5 prey model ratios, it may feel like you're finally getting the hang of it. But then you find out that PMR is missing some important nutrients and therefore needs other whole food additions to fill nutritional gaps. Thankfully, there are many helpful sources that go over what nutrients are missing in a PMR diet, as well as what you can provide to balance the meal. But how do you figure out how much of each nutrient your pet specifically needs? I struggled with this question myself before. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to find out how much of each nutrient your pet needs, and then from there, how to find out how much of that nutrient is in your pet's meal. So I first wanna go over where the nutrient parameters came from. The National Research Council, or NRC, is a private nonprofit organization responsible for determining the nutritional requirements for dogs and cats. And in 1986, published a textbook called Nutrient requirements of dogs and cats, which was updated in 2006. This is a very detailed book with over 1,200 pages of research and analysis that leads to their nutritional recommendations. Unfortunately, finding the suggested intake numbers from these studies may be a bit difficult for some people. Fortunately, the growth and development, as well as the adult maintenance nutrient numbers for dogs and cats, are provided on Perfectly Rossum's website. These numbers are per 1,000 kilocalories. Now that we know where to find these numbers, how do you figure out your pet's individual nutrient requirements? If your dog needs 1,000 kilocalories daily, then all you have to do is follow the numbers provided. Lucky you. But if you have a pet that requires a lot less or a lot more calories than this, the amounts need to be adjusted accordingly. Thinking about doing the math might feel a little overwhelming, but it's actually very simple. This is where your phone's calculator comes in handy. If you don't know how much calories your pet needs, I have a video that gives you an example on how to figure this out, and I will link this in the description. I wanna note that these numbers don't have to be precise all the time, and in many situations may change depending on your pet and their activity level that day. So, my dog Matsu needs around 680 calories a day. Let's say I wanna find out how much zinc he needs daily. Per 1,000 calories, the recommended daily allowance of zinc is 15 milligrams for adult dogs. To find out how much Matsu needs, I'm going to divide his daily caloric intake by 1,000. This equals 0.68, or 68%. Now, all I need to do is multiply that by 15 milligrams. This means that Matsu's recommended daily intake of zinc is 10 milligrams when rounded. Once you do this with each essential nutrient, we just need to see how much of each nutrient is in the food item that you're feeding. One of the best websites to find this out is Food Data Central. Search all of the foods that you're feeding and make sure when you're entering in the meat, you specify that it's raw. For example, I wanna find the nutrient analysis of raw beef liver. I type these keywords in and click what matches. These nutrients are per 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of liver. Since Matsu only needs 0.5 ounces of liver, I apply the same math to this as I did before. I divide 0.5 by 3.5, which equals 0.14 or 14%. Then I just multiply this number by each of the essential nutrients listed for raw beef liver. And that's how much is in 0.5 ounces. For example, there's 4 milligrams of zinc in 3.5 ounces of liver. So 0.5 ounces has 0.56 milligrams of zinc. When logging in the entire nutrient analysis for each item that you're feeding, the most organized way to do this is by making a spreadsheet. I'm using Google Sheets. Doing this has made things so much easier for me. What I do is list the weight of the food item, then the amount that I'm feeding. I then list out the nutrients of this item provided by Food Data Central. Now that this is all laid out, I need to find out the percentage in decimal form of the item that I'm feeding from the total amount listed by Food Data Central, just like we did earlier. Finally, I just multiply all of these nutrients by that percentage. You can then save some time by letting the spreadsheet autofill the rest of the nutrients for you. Just make sure to add dollar signs to the cell that has the percentage so it autofills correctly. My spreadsheet is just showing the micro minerals for the sake of the example, but once you enter in everything per the food's weight, you'll get the nutrient breakdown of your pet's meal and what nutrients might be low or missing. From there, you can enter in the fresh foods that you want to use to add these nutrients back in. For example, blue mussels for a manganese boost. 
While it's always good to analyze your pet's meals to see where you're at as far as nutrients and calories go, you don't have to do this every single meal. This is only a way to check yourself every now and then or to make specific recipes that you can reference back to if you want to feed a balanced meal daily rather than over time. Watch this next video to find out how to calculate your pet's caloric intake.